Now it's time to deploy your idea landing page anywhere. Now this guide will absolutely be updated. And in fact, we wanna have a one click button to deploying on your Heroku account. So definitely check out for that later. But for now, what I'm gonna do is just showing how you can launch it as your own project. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just really quickly close out everything in my terminals and I'm just gonna go into desktop CD into desktop, and I'm gonna make a directory called Spore, and I'm gonna change into Spore. Um, this is gonna be my virtual environment, so I'll do virtual env slash p python3 period. Uh, of course, I did it a little bit different there, and then I will go ahead and activate it, source bin slash activate, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a directory, make dir src and change into src and then I'm gonna go ahead and clone the idea landing page. Notice that there's a period there at the very end. It's cloning it. Um, this is basically copying that project. So I'll do, I'll go ahead and do pip install dash r requirements.txt. All right, so it's now downloading and installing those requirements that are related to it. Uh, after that, we're going to remove our old GitHub re repo. That is the repo that's related to idea landing itself. We don't want that anymore. So I'll just do remove rf.git. Um, and now I want to initialize a new one. So git init and then git add dash dash all git commit um, initial commit. Okay, great. Um, now I need to create a Heroku app. I'll just do Heroku create. Of course, that assumes that you have Heroku already installed. Um, notice this URL here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and do open. And I want to open up this folder, which is going to give me all of this stuff. So inside of here, I want to go into the settings module into production.py. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to update my installed apps to from allowed hosts to being this newly allowed host. And also if I want us my own do domain here, I'll just do that. So I'll just call it sporeproject.com. So I have my two hosts there. And let's go back into that guide. Um, I have created that I updated the hosts. And now I want to save that production. Let's make sure I saved it. Going back into the terminal, get status, get add, get commit update production and then git push Heroku master. Um, that's going to push my Heroku master um, a little bit before I actually need my actual dev. So I'm going to close that out before it runs and I'll actually add in my Postgres SQL database here. Um, so that will allow me to have a database and now I'll do that push. And then after that, I will run the migrate and create super user and that's loading so i'll let it load okay it's all loaded and now i'm going to run migrate and then after that i'll run create super user migrations are done create the super user now and let's go ahead and create our super user Okay, it's created and do keep in mind that this super user, um, we actually definitely want to have and make sure our super user is unique, this password and all that. All right, so now you could add your own domain name if you wanted, um, but what I'm gonna do is just do Heroku open. And here we go. So we actually have the homepage there. It's not looking that great. So we need to go into admin and we're gonna go into our user. So whatever user account you actually made. Um, and then I go into pages I'm gonna make my first page here. And I'm going to call this spore project um, button title. Uh, I'll keep it as join color, all that stuff. I'll keep it as join um, the actual content itself. I'm just going to say hello world. So this is where you would want to write out all of your own content. Um, a video embed, again, that's the same sort of thing. I'm gonna put on featured. I'll hit save and continue. Um, looks like everything went okay. Now I go here and there we go. So we've got our Spore project looking good. I can change the layout to stacked. 
And there we go. So we actually have our landing page that I can get out there and show with the world. Um, notice there are some things that I still need to probably change. And by the time you're watching this, those updates might happen as in the page or the project name might actually go up here or the page name, whatever that is. Um, so there are still some things that you might need to actually adjust using Django for this. Um, but for the most part, you can now get this up and going um, right off the bat. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one. Do keep in mind that this readme on our repository, uh, this itself will definitely have the most updated version of what all of this is. One huge caveat here is if you look in the production file, this key is gonna be the same if you use ours. So all you need to do is create a brand new Django project and then just change the production key from that brand new project um, in there. Okay, so thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys later.